through the night now on BBC One, David Dimbleby presents the election results of Vote 2011. Hello and welcome to Vote 2011. The results of voting that's taken place across the country more elections than ever in our history. It's only a year since David Cameron was on the doorstep of Downing Street, the first Conservative Prime Minister for 13 years. Now, 12 months later, he faces the country's judgment on his leadership. Nick Clegg, widely expected to be punished for his role in the coalition, will be mightily relieved if the Lib Dems aren't trounced at the polls and ecstatic if he wins the referendum on AV. And that's not to forget Ed Miliband, whose party will be watching their performance across the country and judging whether the younger Miliband is a help or a hindrance to their plans for an electoral comeback. So what do we have in store tonight and tomorrow? We have the election to the Scottish Parliament. We have the election to the Welsh Assembly. We have the election to the Northern Ireland Assembly and local elections there. And then we have elections to local government all across England except for London. And that's not to forget a handful of mayoral elections, even a parliamentary by-election, and of course the referendum on changing the voting system from first past the post to AV. So there's a lot to talk about today and tomorrow. And to help us along, we've got our usual guests here and our election team waiting. Cheer up, Simon, it's not that bad. I'm absolutely cheered up. <laughs> and Emily Maitlis is here to take us to some of the key places. Yes, with the help of the giant touchscreen, I'll be bringing you all the results from those national and local elections, along with a kind of microanalysis which should throw up the real patterns of the night, the actual stories. So, for example, to England and the locals. Now, these are some of the places that the Conservatives will be defending, but will Labour under Ed Miliband start to make inroads here? What